Hi, one hour smart home here and today we're going to show you how to install a feet electric Wi-Fi smart dimmer switch. So we've got the smart dimmer here and it's going to let you control this device from your phone. It's also compatible with Google Home, Amazon Alexa and Siri so you can control it with voice commands as well. So you've got a remote control Wi-Fi switch and a smart voice controlled switch when connected to compatible voice assistants. So the very first thing that we're going to do is make sure that we turn on the power to the existing light fixture at the existing switch. And the reason that we do that is because we're going to go down and we're going to turn off the correct circuit breaker for this particular switch. So we want the power onto this so that when we turn off that circuit breaker, we know we have the right one because the power will go off to this and this will no longer be lit up. So I'm gonna go down and I'm going to turn off the power to this at the circuit breaker right now. All right, so we turned off the power at the circuit breaker and you can see that this light switch no longer operates, which means that we have cut power off. Now we're gonna take these two screws and we're going to remove them. Now that the light switch cover plate is off, we can use a non-contact voltage meter just to confirm that the power is off as an added measure of safety and precaution. So this will light up or beep if it detects if there is any live current in there and we're getting a negative reading. There is no sound and no lights are lighting up, which means there is no power. So you always want to be safe when working with electrical. Now we're just going to remove these two screws that hold the existing light switch onto the junction box. Now that we've loosened the screws from the junction box, we can pull our light switch forward to gain better access to the wiring. So let's go ahead and we're gonna tilt it to the side so we can see our existing wiring terminals. Now, it's important to note that this switch, the Feet Electric Wi-Fi Smart Dimmer, does require a neutral wire. So you're gonna need to check your junction box for that. We've got a neutral wire back here. It's this white wire, and I've got other videos that help you determine if you have a neutral wire. But as a general rule of thumb, most houses built after 1980 are typically going to have a neutral wire, but not all of them. Houses built before 1980, some of them will have neutral wires, some will not. It really just depends on where your house was built and the local regulations for installing a neutral wire. Now, there are other smart switches that don't require a neutral wire, and I recommend you look at the links below if you want to learn what a neutral wire is, how to find it, and if you don't have one, what your other options are. So before you go any further, you want to look for that neutral wire but you also wanna take a picture of the wiring. So this is just helpful when you go to install the new switch so you know what these wires are. So my incoming wire that is coming from the circuit breaker, that's this hot wire down here and it's got the black lug on it. Up here at the top, we have what's called the load wire. And this wire goes out and it goes to this light fixture here. And that is how the power goes from the hot to the load when you have the switch on and it just flows through here. The neutral wire isn't connected at this point to the light switch, but it will be when we install the new Wi-Fi smart switch. Now the last wire that we have over here is the ground wire and that is this unshielded bare copper wire here. Some of you will have an unshielded wire or you will have a green colored wire with green insulation on it. So now what we're going to do is take a picture here and we're going to remove all the existing wires. And if you're uncertain that you'll remember which wire is which, it's a good idea to take a little piece of colored electrical tape so you understand which wire goes where and where it was. Now we're just going to remove the wires from the existing light switch. Now that we have the existing light switch removed, we can better access the wiring. We can see here we've got our hot wire, here we've got our ground wire, here we have our load wire which goes up to the light fixture and we've got our neutral wire here. So we're going to need to connect the light switch to the neutral wire. 
We don't currently have any method of doing that because there's a wire nut on all these neutral wires, which means that we're going to need to add a small neutral wire in there so that we can connect it to the back of this switch. We're then going to connect it onto these terminals that are on the back of the switch. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove this wire nut, make sure that I maintain all the existing neutrals in the same location, and then I'm going to add this neutral wire into this bundle of neutral wires and then connect it to the light switch. So we'll start with that first. We'll start by removing the wire nut from the bundle of neutral wires and that will expose the existing neutral wires and we're going to add in our new neutral wire here. So we're gonna put that in and you wanna make sure that you have the right size wire connector as these wire connectors have different capacities for different sizes in gauges and numbers of wires. So make sure that you look at that. It's typically on the bag or box that the wire nuts come in. So just make sure that you keep that in mind while you do this installation. All right, so we've got our new neutral wire installed right here, and we're ready to now wire up the switch. Now on the back here, you can probably see some of the writing. So this is the load terminal. Over here is going to be our AC hot terminal or the ACL terminal. That's where we're gonna put our hot wire. And the ACN is going to be where we put the neutral wire right here. And then this top one is for the ground. So over here, you've got load, that's this black one. Over here, you've got ACL, this is gonna be the hot wire. Over here, you've got your neutral wire, and the very top one is the ground. To install the wires, what we're going to do is push them in these holes in the back here, but first we need to loosen the screws so that we can get those wires in there, and then we're gonna tighten the screws back up on those wires once the wire's inserted to secure them in place. So I'm just gonna loosen all the terminals that we're gonna use here. So right now I'm loosening up the hot terminal and I'm loosening up the neutral terminal here and I'm gonna loosen up the ground terminal at the top as well. So we also loosened up the load terminal here on the top and you can see we've got these terminals loose as now those screws can move slightly freely. Now you might wonder what this extra terminal over here is for that's marked YLRD. Well, that's if you're going to use this in a three-way configuration or a three-way switch configuration. We're not gonna do that, so we don't need to worry about that. So you might also see on the back here, we've got something that says strip gauge. Well, that's the amount of wire you want to have available to insert into these terminals. That's what that strip gauge is for, to strip that amount of wire. So now we're gonna start inserting our wires. We've got all the wires here. It doesn't really matter which one you start with, but I'm just gonna start with my neutral wire and I'm just going to put the wire in the back and push it in until I get it all the way bottomed out there. And now I'm just going to secure it with a screwdriver and make sure that we get that terminal nice and tight. You wanna make sure that you don't have any bare wire exposed on the back of this. So follow that strip gauge and visually inspect. Now we're going to insert our ground wire, but first I'm going to straighten it out a little bit so that it will go into the back of the light switch a little bit easier. Now that we've got it straightened out, let's go ahead and insert it into the ground terminal here at the top of the device. Then we just secure the screw. Now let's reposition the switch a little bit so that we can get our other wires installed. Right here, I've got my load wire and I'm gonna put it in the load terminal at the top of the switch here. Then I secure it. Now we've only got one wire left to install. That's our hot wire here. And we're going to secure it in the hot wire terminal, which is labeled ACL. So we're just gonna go ahead and push that one in and then we're going to secure it. Now we've got all the wires secured, so we're ready to go ahead and push these existing wires down back into the junction box and secure the new light switch. You wanna make sure that you have this right side up when you install it and having these light indicators at the top is the right side up. So just go ahead and start pushing those wires in carefully and then secure the light switch.
Now we're going to secure these two screws to secure the light switch to the junction box. Make sure that you get the light switch aligned in the junction box when you're securing it, especially if you have more than one light switch in the junction box so that the covers will fit on. Now we're ready to install the light switch cover plate. So it comes with a screwless light switch cover plate. You can put that adapter on and then you can put this screwless cover plate on if you want. I'm just going to use the existing cover plate that we had and just secure that down. So it will work with standard cover plates so that if you've got a normal cover plate or a cover plate with multiple outlets in one junction box, it's gonna be compatible with those as well. Now you can always put on a screwless cover plate if you want, but it's not necessary or you might have a different version of screwless cover plate that you like more. So just something to consider there. So now we've got the screw secured for this light switch. We're ready to check this out and make sure that it is properly wired and working. So all we're gonna do is go back to the circuit breaker and flip the power back on. All right, now we restored the power at the circuit breaker and you can see that this is working properly. So now we're ready to get this connected to our cell phone so that we can remotely control it. Now that we have the light switch installed, we're ready to get it set up on the app so that we can control it remotely from our phone. So the app that you're going to look for is the Feet Electric app and you're just going to install that. It's available both on iOS and Android. So we're just gonna click install. Now we're going to need to register the device, so click the option below. Here we need to agree to the privacy policy. We're just going to click agree. Now enter your email address and click get verification code. Enter the verification code that was just sent to your email address and then continue. Enter a password. Now we're ready to connect the Feet Wi-Fi dimmer to our phone. It says connect to your 2.4 gigahertz network. So I have a dual band Eero router which provides both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. Typically what I need to do is disable my five gigahertz network in order to get items like smart switches and smart plugs to connect to the 2.4 gigahertz network that is provided by Eero. You may have a similar problem with Eero routers or even routers from other manufacturers. So make sure that you are either connected to your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network band or temporarily disable the five gigahertz band while you're going to set up your light switch. So right now I'm going to temporarily disable five gigahertz so that my switch can connect to the Wi-Fi network. To disable the five gigahertz on a Eero network, all I do is go to troubleshooting and then press the temporarily pause five gigahertz and it will pause it for 10 minutes while I connect my device. Now let's scroll through. Now we click add a device. Now we select the type of device we're using. We click on lighting and we're going to click on lighting device. It says allow feet electric to access this device location. We're going to say only while using the app. Then our Wi-Fi network pops up here and we enter the information to connect to it. Now the light switch needs to be in pairing mode where it is blinking rapidly. If it's been a while since you turned on and off your circuit breaker, if you just turn off the circuit breaker and then turn it back on, it will put the switch into cycling mode for setup. So that's the easiest way to do it. If it is not blinking rapidly, just go down to your circuit breaker and quickly flip off the power and then flip it back on. And then all you're gonna need to do is click confirm here. Now it's adding our device. Our device was added successfully, so let's go ahead and click done. Now let's go ahead and test out the device. So here we can adjust the dimming, but we're gonna go back to the main screen. Now, if we wanna turn on and off the device, all we have to do is click the icon here, and now we can turn it on and off from our phone. If we wanna adjust the dimming levels, go ahead and click and hold there, and then you can adjust the brightness levels within the app, and let's just go ahead and we'll set it to 50%, or we could dim it all the way down to a lower scenario when we're at 10%, or let's go all the way up to the top with 100%, and we can go back and just turn it off from the app. 
Now, these devices will also connect to Alexa, Google Home, or Siri. So go ahead and look for a video on that in the future. We'll put those in the links below. So thank you for watching this video on how to install a Feet Wi-Fi dimmer switch. Go ahead and give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any of the links below if you want to support us. Thank you.